Hey guys, welcome back to R&D Garage. Thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching my videos, sharing and liking. So today we're doing a little bit of a revisit. So you notice during one of my other videos, I never quite showed you guys how the parking brake went back on along with the shoes. So today I tore everything down just for you guys to put it back together again. So as you can tell, my brakes are torn apart again. So we've already driven with them all assembled like you saw in the previous video. So that's why I'm not gonna go through everything brake-wise on this side, but I'll show you how to put the parking brake back together. So starting with the parking brake. Okay, what you wanna do first is actually attach the park parking brake arm to the shoe. And you'll notice I'm not gonna take it apart right now because these horseshoe clips are pretty much one-time use but you'll notice there's kind of a matching hole on the other side here. So what I did was basically fit the parking brake arm to the shoe, slide the pin through, and then squeeze the horseshoe clip on. After that, you can go ahead and, er, I'll just leave it, um, attach the parking brake arm to the cable. And this is kind of spring loaded. It doesn't just slip through. So you're going to have to, you know, kind of bend up put it on and then it'll spring load back. While you have it unassembled, this is kind of a perfect time to put on these springs. So you'll notice there's one, which is actually on the back here because this is kind of backwards. And then, well, you can see like this. There's a couple more springs, one right here and one right here. Let's move on. Next, slip the bent pin in through the backing plate and make sure it's closest to the caliper. Next, take the straight pin and also put it through the backing plate, this time furthest from the caliper. As you can see, step one is done. I've attached the shoe in place by placing this spring by snapping it into the pivot point right here. I've also taken this spring. This is the side member with the straight pin. And so that goes through this assembly right here. And remember from my other video, this is the part where you take the hemostats and by lining it up, you push and twist. And I'm gonna kind of demonstrate that on here as, as much as I can. So we've got, <laughs> that was peanut. So we've got this bump stop right here and you want it facing out. And that you're gonna attach, you see that hole right there? You're gonna put the end in like that and then kind of maneuver it into place so that you know it's able for the bent pin to go through. And this is kind of a, a cluster, and you'll see when you're putting it together. But once it in, it's in place like that, you're going to put the spring on top, and then the cap, and then here's where you take your slightly open pair of hemostats, and push and twist. Move it on. Now we're ready for step two. So before we begin, make sure that your lower spring is in place um, with, between the shoe and the parking brake arm. Make sure it's you know connected. Okay, now we're gonna come up here. Another thing, make sure this spring is pointed up. Okay, there it is. And after you make sure of that, put the spring on this bar here. And the longer foot is gonna be closest to you. And that's actually what goes on both the parking brake arm and the shoe. So again, making sure this spring is pointed up, you're gonna have to hold on to everything while you put it on because this fits in a special slot, um, specially built for it, but this spring is gonna go on to the other pivot point. So for now, we'll leave the adjuster alone. You can set that aside. And then once this is completely on, that's when we go for the spring and uh, and this guy with the hemostat. So just a warning, this is a super hard job. Well, it's not that it's super hard, it's super frustrating. There's gonna be a lot of swear words. You may scare your significant other and or dogs, but I have faith in you, you can do it. Um, I would show you right now how to do it myself, but you'd only see my back. So when we come back, you'll see it completely in place. Okay, you guys, so I've got the bar with the purple spring into its own slot there, 
And I kind of figured out this cheat along the way. If you have a big, thick rubber band, go ahead and put it around both shoes. And that'll help while you're trying to put um, the spring back on the pivot point. Okay guys, well, the shoes are on. This is great. The springs are attached to the pivot point. The shoe retaining spring has been installed. Yes. Okay, so you guys remember that adjuster that I had set aside? We, I already went and put it on, but I'm gonna show you how. So what you're gonna do is come down here, lightly spread the shoes apart, and then place it where it's meant to fit in the notches. Again, it's gonna be frustrating and you guys are gonna hate it, but you'll make it work because you have to. <laughs> okay, before we put everything else together, go ahead and check the shoes one more time. If there's a speck of dirt, if there's you know anything just that makes it dirty, uh, go ahead and spray it with a little bit of brake cleaner and then you are good to go. So now I'm gonna put on the rotor. If you put on the rotor and it doesn't quite fit over the shoes, go ahead, pull the rotor back off, and you're going to want to turn the adjuster until the shoes at the bottom are a little bit more close to each other. So you'll always want to adjust your brakes to factory spec. What I always do is tighten them up just a little too much until I start to hear the brakes drag, and then I turn it back down just a hair so that they don't drag anymore, and that seems to work. Well, as you can see, I popped the calipers back on and torqued the bolts to factory spec. If you're interested in learning how to do that, feel free to check out one of my other videos. So all we have to do from here is bolt the wheel and tire back on and uh, torque those bolts back to factory spec. And then of course, test the parking brake. Super important. You wanna make sure that the brake doesn't catch all the way at the top. It should ideally catch somewhere in the middle. So frustrating job, glad it's over with, glad we had time to do it. What else are we gonna do during the pandemic, huh? But at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching R&D Garage. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I love you guys. Uh, super excited to bring you more content. Have a good week.